Hello, all you fellow math drummers. Donnie Bell here. It's likely that most of you have already heard the news by now, but for those of you who have not, Canadian drumming legend and lyricist Neil Peart died last week on January 7th from glioblastoma. He was 67 years old. Inspiring so many others to learn the drums, Peart played a critical role in my own drumming by challenging me to be creative and think outside of that common box of 4 4 time. And with that, I'd like to invite you all to come celebrate with me 10 of Neil Peart's greatest math drumming moments. So please, stick around. Showcasing Peart's ability to succinctly modulate between tempos is the spirit of radio from the 1980 album Permanent Waves. Listen along to hear how at the 10 second mark, the tempo set to 135 beats per minute pivots to 180, then floats on 144 before returning back to 135 at the 34 second mark. It's fairly unlikely that these tempos were chosen at random because a dotted eighth note at 135 and a quarter note quintuplet at 144 are related in the sense that they're both equivalent to a quarter note at 180. From the 1985 album Power Windows, Peart at the 150 mark in the big money spares no expense in layering a halftime groove in three on top of Lee's bass riff in 6-4. Peart is no stranger to Seven, and Time Stands Still from the 1987 album Hold Your Fire proves just that, with eighth notes pulsating on the kick drum, creating a driving 7-4 time signature.
From the 1982 album Signals, Subdivisions is a continuous back and forth exchange between the square clean cut kids of 4-4, the authoritative figures of 6-4, and the odd misfitted outcasts of 7-8. From the 1981 album Moving Pictures comes Limelight. It features a continuous back and forth exchange between 4-4 and 3-4, yet avoids the awkwardness of missing or displacing the beat. Xanadu, from the 1977 album A Farewell to Kings, clocks in at an impressive 11 minutes and 5 seconds. At the 203 mark, Peart implements an 8 plus 6 over 8 mix meter before delving into 7-8 by way of 4-4.
Seek the sacred river out To walk the caves of ice To break my fast on honeydew And drink the milk of paradise As an opener for the 1981 album Moving Pictures, YYZ is a fast, hard-hitting 5-4. The syncopative motif featured throughout this instrumental work is derived from executing the International Air Transport Association's identifier code of Toronto Pearson International Airport and Morse code. <laughs> Continuing on for moving pictures is the camera eye. This one contains in the verse a 6 plus 5 plus 6 times 2 over 4 mixed meter. Also, at the 330 mark, while Lee and Lifeson are in 5-4 time, Peart is in 2-4, creating a polymeter that flips the beat in between measures. This ultimately gives way back to the verse. Another one from Permanent Waves, Free Will features a continuous exchange between odd meters that increase in complexity as the song progresses. The opening A section implements 6 plus 7 over 4 to create a phrase in 13. This in turn leads into the verse making use of a 6 plus 8 plus 6 plus 7 over 4 mixed meter. 4 times 3 plus 3 over 4 is also employed during the chorus, creating a beat skip effect. Also, the drum and bass break at the 304 mark in 6-8 sets the foundation for Lifeson's guitar solo in 12-8 time. Farewell to Kings concludes inside a black hole with the most math on this list, if not Rush's entire catalog, Cygnus X1, Book 1, The Voyage. 
Peart and Lifeson at the 224 mark join Lee in a rhythmic phrase guided by a mixed meter consisting of 3-4, 3.5 over 4, 3-4 again, and then 4-4. Four, four. At the 336 mark, another mixed meter ensues with a back and forth exchange between 11-8 and 12-8. So there you have it, 10 of Neil Peart's greatest math drumming moments. What other math drumming moments from his career did you think we miss? Let me know in the comments section down below. Thank you for watching, and remember, keep counting and don't stop drumming.